Okay, customer obsession. I think this is my favorite part. Let's do a case study. Customer is a word that can be used in almost any instance. In this instance, let's say customers are people who litter. Our case study is to get people to stop littering on the side of the road. How many people recognize this image? You recognize just a portion of that image from the Keep America Beautiful campaign, even though it's from 1971. The reason that people recognize it is because Iron Eyes Cody makes an emotional connection. But does an emotional connection matter if it works just a little bit on everyone? Because the reality is, if we think about asking people to stop littering, there's a continuum of impact. And that continuum probably exists in almost every problem in that you could be functional. In this case, you could tell people not to litter. You could provide a benefit or a motivation. You could make that emotional connection. Or you could go a step further, which would be to make a cultural connection. When you make a cultural connection, you're not speaking to someone. You're speaking with them. You're empowering them. A cultural connection is the reason why people tattoo Harley Davidson to the side of their arm. But to make a cultural connection, you need to know who you're trying to connect to. So in this case, you need to know who litters. So here's another group case for the room. Who litters on the side of the road out their car? Males or females? Males. Males. I'll let you get away with that one, but the next one I want a little more volume. Okay, who litters, young males or old males? Young, young males? I heard more young. young. Okay, young males. Do, do they drive cars or do they drive trucks? Oh. And do they drive minivans or do they drive pickup trucks? Pickup yeah, it turns out an organization did a whole bunch of research on this topic. And you're right. <laughs> this was in Texas, GSDNM, and they found conclusively that if you imagine putting yourself in this truck and, and seeing who litters, you'll find that it's males. They tend to be young, those damn young males. <laughs> they drive pickup trucks. They drink beer. And this is Texas, so they have shotgun racks. <laughs> But most importantly, they have a king of my world lifestyle. So put yourself inside that pickup truck, juxtapose yourself next to the crying actor, and ask yourself if he stops you from wanting to throw your beer can out the side of your pickup truck. And the answer is inevitably no. So here's the campaign that they came up with. And when I show you this slogan, what I want you to know is you might think you've heard this before. This slogan was created for the very first time for an ad campaign, and it is a trademarked slogan. Don't mess with Texas. They had George, yeah, there we go. We got a Texan in the audience, folks. They had George Foreman, Willie Nelson, sports heroes and icons saying, if you litter, you're messing with Texas. And if you mess with Texas, we will kick you. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Brian Rose got it. And again, you've seen that on t-shirts, but it's a trademarked ad slogan. I'm going to show you how they keep it alive today. Hey, this is Owen Wilson. This is Erica Badu. I'm Janine Turner. This is Julius Jones. This is Lance Armstrong. This is Leanne Womack. We're most forward board. This is Chuck Norris. This is Jennifer Love Hewitt reminding you. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> Now, the only problem with that is Chuck Norris is like way more intimidating than Matthew McConaughey, but they, they sandwiched him in the metal. Now, that's kind of neat to see how they keep it alive, but even more interesting is to see YouTubers and actual people within that target demographic making their own videos. <laughs> Hey man, uh, I gotta let you go. I just, uh, I got pulled over. Yeah, I'll give you a call back. Okay, great. Please, don't mess with that. 
Did the Texans like that on this side? <laughs> nice. Now, what's interesting about that is that I actually censored my shell, myself by showing you the more boring ones. I was a little worried about the audience getting upset. Well, I'll show you the pictures of these two, and you'll see what I mean. So this particular commercial was created by a young man who shows himself assembling a shotgun, and when he sees someone litter, he shoots them, and at the sound of his rifle, you hear, don't mess with Texas. The notes that he has in his YouTube commentary is that he created it for uh, a contest. At that contest, one celebrity judge, Matthew McConaughey, came up and said it was his favorite, but unfortunately he was disqualified. <laughs> The other one consists of two young ladies uh, destroying a minivan, and I didn't show that because we already decided that it's pickup trucks that litter, so that's just not correct. <laughs> but put yourself back in that pickup truck, and again, juxtapose yourself next to the two ads, and it's pretty clear which one connects. What ended up happening is after that cultural connection, litter was reduced by 72% over four years. And that slogan is now synonymous with Texas. It's on bumper stickers and it's on t-shirts at the airport. And the point is that in all industries, innovation starts by observing the customers. Whether you're a designer, an entrepreneur, an artist, a marketer, or a strategist. Innovation starts with the customer and it requires observing customers even if you're the newest hire or if you're the CEO. And where that used to mean focus groups, surveys, and interviews, it now means observing customers in their zone, interacting with them, observing their product use, and watching the actual purchase happen.